YouTube. I have been AWOL. Uh, some might say in the military I went dark. No particular reason. But uh, it's people like this guy that put me off. Why? Why? Anyway, I'm not here to complain. I'm here to answer a question here by jo uh, sorry, Adam Nowatsky. John, I use phasing all the time now. Big thanks for that. Okay, I showed a phasing video for those of you who have not seen it. I scroll down to Adam's comments I responded to one of those anyway the problem with that is my grid disappears when I turn certain phases on and off okay now I'll show you how to do that and by the way this is my favorite comment respect I just picture him with the with the fist bump and anyway, thanks for that so I'm gonna show you how to phase and keep your grid lines so I've named these ones uh, phase one and that of course is my phase two now <clears throat> if you've got a grid line involved so I'll show you a different method of how to uh, uh, turn on and off the phases <clears throat> so first of all what you want to do is create a group and name that phase one in the other video we just use the query command that one but in this one if you want to add the grid lines you want to go to group phase okay and then go in the advanced properties in the selection go to selection filter and objects steel beams yeah naming phase will go phase one phase one so now we're going to save that oh no no sorry 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 we're going to click ok and all the phase one stuff is highlighted now all you have to do from here is select your grid line add to marking add selected to marking ok so now the grid line is also highlight it and then just go on the phase right click oh sorry before you do that we're going to select everything that is marked so once everything is selected go to phase and say add elements so now all these elements that are highlighted are in phase one okay we're going to do the same for phase two okay so we're going to close this phase 2 okay now again we're just going to clear the selection and then uh, going to query search query change that to phase 2 click OK now all the phase 2 is marked select the grid line again add to marking and then select everything together right click on phase 2 and click add elements so now we're just going to do a test run to see what we've done here now what's key take now what's key pay attention I will only say this once so uh, if you hit phase 1 everything phase 1 shows up including the grid as you had asked and if you click phase 2 again like magic everything happens the way you want it to happen so if you if that helped you like subscribe comment thumbs up whatever you have to do youtube